We shot a car car, folks. Shot a car car. What's happening, folks? What's happening? All right, so look, today I want to come to you because I found something that I thought was unique. That's all the time. All the time I always find something that I think is unique. But today I really found something that I thought was unique to me. Shot a car car. All right, so look, you guys know I'm, I'm already a music man lover. And I like the old music man. Some of the new ones I like. But I'm an old cat, so I like the old music, man. The 70s and 80s and 90s, all right? Some of the 2000s. But look, check it out. I went out because I wanted to, I wanted to prove something to myself that, and prove to others too, that Music Man is a unique animal. All right, so to make a long story short, this is what I did. I went out and bought this bass. Look at it, all right? You're looking at it, you say, oh, it's an SR5. Exactly. But it's a Ray 5. Look at that. A Sterling Ray 5. What makes this bass unique? I'm glad you asked me. I'm glad you asked me. Because basically, everything. Now, it has a Music Man bridge on it, but it has Sterling written across. All right? And the pickup is a little different. Um, it's, it's one of the newer kind of pickups. It doesn't have the two little wings and the one little wing. It don't have that on it, all right? So, and then it has a three-way, which I love, a three-way switch, all right? And then it has bass, mids, and treble, and then volume, all right? It has that. So, basically, you're looking at your SR5. I right? say if you was looking at it, and you didn't look at the back of it, which says Indonesia, and if you didn't look at the front of it, which says Sterling Ray 35, you would think it's a real 35. Or a real SR5. That's what I wanted to say. All right. So I went and got this. I went and bought this for me. All right. Because I wanted to see the difference between the SR5 American and the SR5 or the Ray 5 Indonesian. Did I say Indonesian right? Did I? I don't know. All right. So look. I'm coming through my SM900. And I'm coming through my Aguilar 112s. All right, so look, one more thing before I start. The SR5 American, when you throw it to, to the switch back here, it gets you that high-end sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. On this one, it's in the middle. So basically, the only thing I didn't like about it was the switching of it. Can that be solved? Absolutely! Within the seconds or minutes, if you want to do that. Me, I don't want to do it. Although I have the Hobo Depot, I can just take it right in there. While well, I had it in there, I could have done it. But she came like this, she'll stay like this. All right, so let's turn everything off. Oh, I even turn the amp off. We don't want to do that now, do we? Let's turn the amp back on. So now the amp is on. And the bass is on. All right, so the first thing I want to do, everything is off. The, the mids are off, the treble is off, the bass is off, the bass is off. But not the bass itself. The bass itself is on. But everything else is off. Alright, so let's hear the bass sound. Now, I got it all the way to the rear. Normally, this sound would be all the way to the front. What you hear right now. And this sound in the front would be back to the rear. I mean, to the middle. On American, on American SR5. Okay, and this sound that you're about to hear now will be all the way to the back. The switch will be all the way to the back. That's what I was saying. It's like it's backwards. Did I say backwards? Backwards. <laughs> it's backwards. Wait, wait, wait. I know you're excited already. Wait, I ain't even got into the bass yet. Check it out. So now let's go and turn. The trouble to detent because it, it has a little detent on it. So you get this. Now, that's just detent on the trouble. And we're in the middle position, which would be in the rear on a, on American SR5. All right, so let's go to the, the mids to detent. All right, so let's go base to detent. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's just 
crazy. I'm sorry. All right, so let's go. Let's change the switching. Let's go to switching to the front. Woo, woo, woo. Stop, girl. All right, so let's go all the way to the back. Take the switching to the back. Now, what's good about this bass? Uh, it's playing. <laughs> All right, so let's take the um, trouble all the way. Uh, here we go. Woo! Let's take it in the middle. Front. Woo! All right, I don't really want to open the mids and the bass up because it might get too much in, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Here's all bass all the way. <laughs> Miz all the way. In the middle. <laughs> and my country brother would say, Whee! Okay. Ain't that something? <laughs> Alright, so look. So my, my thing is, what is the difference be this, between the sound of American and Indonesian? Uh I can't really tell much of the difference. The feel may be a little different. This bass feels a little thinner than the Americans. But basically. If you looking, if you listening to this bass with your eyes closed, you can't tell it's Indonesian. I can't because basically it went through the Homo Depot, <laughs> and you know when things go through there, things got a tendency to sound better. I don't know why. Maybe because I touch it. <laughs> Shut up. All right, so all right, so look. So if you you if you had a choice of getting this bass. An American base, you know the American ones are they're like any, anywhere between you know two thousand to twenty five to some of them maybe three thousand, some of them maybe a little more. All right, this base basically, if you buy used, you probably get it for like four hundred bucks used. Did you did you hear the difference between my my old one and this new one? I I couldn't hear the difference. I tell you what I I tell you to me. I like the rosewood neck. It's not really real rosewood because we all know that you can't get real rosewood rosewood anymore. But as far as the the craftsmanship of this bass, the way it sounds, the way it feels, I'm game. I'm 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 game. I mean, I you know I just got the bass and just came through the Hobo Depot. I can't wait to take it out. I, I'm sitting in here in the shop, and I mean basically in the studio, going, "That's something good about this girl. That's something good about her." You might be hanging around for a while. I like you. All right, so I don't know what else to say about her. I mean, she's everything that she should be for less money, less money, less money. Less. I got to keep saying that. Less money, less money, less money. A music man for less money and sounding like the, the Americans? I'm game. I love you, girl. <laughs> I love you. Johnny Lee Long in the Hobo Depot with the Ray 5. This is Sting Ray 5. I love this thing. Shout out, Kaka. Peace out.